Hello, uh, Job Doer here, and today I'm going to go over a few things that I was able to go down to the Disneyland Park and uh, California Adventure and uh, pick up around the Halloween time here. Now, this one here is not one of them. This right here is the uh, milk jug you can get from the milk stand, and it comes either filled with blue milk or the green milk, and it has you know the, the creatures that produce such milk picture on the covers or the outside of this bottle and uh, you know, it has that kind of a strap here that's mounted pretty good to the jug for the most part of course it's a little bit heavy after you get it filled it has a, a safety brake in the back here so this thing here could pop if you have too much stress on it and pops back together nice copper patina on it and uh, yeah if you want to add more to it or basically if you have a group of people this is a good way to save on money a little bit, is to buy this to, to share. You just unscrew the top, and it lifts off, and then you can you know, pour it out. And uh, the straw here, one thing that I'll put on the straw is that you got this little um, nib thing on it there, right there. And what that does is it goes in the bottom, you put the lid on top here, you know, screw it on, and then when you go out drinking, you don't lose your straw. You know, it won't fly off in a ride or something. And the other thing about this here is that you have on the bottom a little switch here. Turn that on, and uh, it will light up your milk. Well, it'll light up what's ever in the container. It gives it like a little bit of a greener, bluish glow, I think. And uh, you can see there, kind of neat, right? And. Uh, yeah, not not a bad product. It's, it seems very sturdily built too. It seems seems like it's almost like a double insulated. And um, I don't know. You can tell me below in the, in the comments if you're a fan of the blue milk or the green milk. I tried both of them. I liked both of them. Another person didn't like the green. Other people didn't like the blue. Actually, I think a lot of people like the blue more. But the green I've heard before was kind of a uh, like an earthy taste to it, and I didn't, I didn't notice that. I noticed that it, it tastes more like a citrusy taste to it, and I didn't mind that at all. So, this here's the milk jug there, and a secret recipe is get them mixed 50-50. And I haven't tried that myself, but I imagine it probably is good. And so, the next item we have here, on this little quest of show and tell, is... What is here? This right here is the uh, purple. Let me get the official name here, but it's a purple uh, skull poison apple mug. I think I'd write this down. We got here the poison apple premium mug. And uh, this here is available at different points throughout the park. Has a little thumb handle, lifts up the top. How are you doing? And um, you can see inside, it has a pretty good uh, amount of liquid it can hold. And some of them come with cold drinks. You can get some at the coffee cellars or a hot chocolate vendor. This one here I got at the place that I'll show you here in this, uh, this little clip montage. Back in California Adventure, uh, back behind Goofy Sky School, uh, next to the restrooms, is a restaurant called the Paradise Garden Grill. And they have traditional like Mexican food there. And what we got here for the snack time was the uh, Ensalada de Frutas, fruit salad. And then it has, um, this is how it comes out. They actually just put the uh, in a container. They ask you if you want the, the toppings, the chamoy, um, what else do they have in there? Sprinkles of other stuff on top of that, that salad, that fruit salad. And then they put it in the cup, and then they put the cup in the cup. So the cup is pretty clean. I should say the, the, the apple cup is clean. And um, this here is a, a closer look of the salad. You can see it has a uh, jicama, uh, cucumber, pineapple, watermelon, and it's supposed to have mango, but I don't remember finding any mango. But overall, it was pretty good. And uh, now back to the show. And 
then the one thing that I kind of would have liked to have seen this happen, because you kind of have the uh, the outside little waxy look to it, is um just like that. So you can bring it up closer to the camera. And uh no. No, it's not showing up too good there, but uh yeah, this this right here, all this wax stuff, glows in the dark really good. So that is neat. I'd not see the advertise of that, but yeah, you you put a light on it for a little bit, kick that light off, glows in the dark. Speaking of uh, of skull things, we got this right here. Right? That right there is the uh, the poison apple glow cube, which ain't even a cube. So I can't even remember where I got this from. What you can see there has a uh, pretty much matching motif almost. Little purple guy has a switch on the back here, and you give it a push, and you got this kind of action going. Let's see here. You got that there, right? And you push it again. And you got a, a lighter strobe. Push it again. And just have it turned on. And push one more time. And it's off. And this particular one does not glow in the dark. Um, and I am pretty sure it's not like the other cubes where you could put in the freezer. Uh, I don't know if they still make those kind, but the kind you put in the freezer and they actually you can freeze them and they're cold. This guy here, I don't think you put in the freezer. I don't think anything in there. But a uh, Nilo Glow Cube, can't remember where I got it from, but somewhere in the park. And I think I might have just went up there and said, hey, can I get the, the skull? Globe cube. All right, then we got uh, these here. All right, these are the Oogie Boogie or Oogie's dice. Oogie Boogie. I know a lot of people call them Boogie Man, but no, it's not that. And these here I picked up in California Adventure from the. Uh, let's see what they're called here. I know you'll shout out the name there. But this is from the Hollywood Lounge in California Adventure. And and they're they're true dice. I mean I wouldn't throw them too much because they're they're like a hard plastic to them, but uh, you got one red and, and clear it looks like. That one's kind of uh black and clear. But the numbers three here, four there. Add up to seven. If you're ever looking at a six sided die and you want to make sure that they're like for reals, you know, five here, two on this side, adds up to seven. And so, what these here will do is there's a little button right here on this one here, right over here on this one here, and you go ahead and push the button and you get a fast, uh, this one here, you get a fast, well, actually, you get both of them, you get a fast uh, uh, strobe. This off, give some mood here, right? And then, if you hit the button again, you get a uh, I don't know, slower strobe. Hope this isn't putting one into a rave or anything. And um, push the button again. And yeah, probably my favorite. Kind of an uneven pulsation here. Right. And let's see, one more time with that button. Looks like we got another. Well, hmm. The red one killed off. 
There we go. One, two, three. Slower pulsation. Four is off, and this one here. All right, so off. And uh, this particular one, if you, there is an alcoholic beverage that you can get this with. And otherwise, there is a, uh, a non-alcoholic uh, non beverage you can get these with. And um, I'll show that in this next clip. All right. So back in uh, California Adventure, uh, back in the, in the uh, behind or close to Monsters Ride is the Hollywood Lounge. And that is where you can get these Oogie's Dice from in the drink called Worms, Dice, and Everything Nice. Uh, if you don't want an alcoholic version of it, they also have My Bugs, My Bugs they can make with that. And this is what it looks like when it's lit up. It, um, of course, it's not a video of this thing, but, you know, it pulsates or whatever the cubes are set to. And, um, this here is taken without a flash. And it shows the concoction drink of My Bugs, My Bugs. And it, it, it has, uh, I think, a lemon-lime slush with grenadine. And, um, here's a picture without the flash. So you can see the lemon-lime slush a little bit and the red grenadine. Um, it has two gummy worms on top, and of course a paper straw, and um, of course the cubes. And the best way to deal with this normally is to take pictures of it, say look how great it is, and then quickly take the cubes out, rush them to a bathroom, wash them off, and put them in a napkin. Alright, back to the show. Someone is looking for his dice, only just his head. So, this is one of the, the newer popcorn buckets that are, that are out now for the holiday season, I believe. And uh, Oogie's head. And with that, you have uh, you know, a nice strap here. Tim Burns' Nightmare Before Christmas. Shows some red dice on there. Has the uh, quick release, I believe. Right. For safety. Also, this right here, you could um, give a little push you know, and take off the side. So just have the head to float around with. All right, it pops on and clicks on. And um, this particular one, popcorn, goes in the back here. You can probably see some remnants in there. And uh, yeah, this particular one is uh, not a bad thing because because uh, on the bottom here, you got you got the open mouth and the bugs in there. Bottom of this little tab, pull that out, and you have a uh, button per se. Push said button, and he has some uh, light up face there. All right, and uh, push it again, and it stays on. Eyes light up, mouth lights up. Pretty neat, right? Push it again, and it all goes off. Um, I think this is pretty swell. The one thing I would have liked to have seen it do is, once again, you know, glow in the dark would have been nice. Would have been cool if you can have glow in the dark when you turn the lights off. But having the lights, the eyes light up, and the, around the mouth light up, that's pretty neat. And, um, Here's a little bit more on Loogie Boogie and the cauldron, which I did not get on this trip. Alright, so the Oogie Boogie uh, head popcorn bucket will set you back 20 bucks. And, um, you know, I, I, I just don't think you actually get a full, like, box worth of popcorn in that head. I could be wrong. I mean, they look like they pack it full. But I noticed there's a lot, of, a lot of like nooks and cranes in that head, and um, it's kind of hard to uh, get all your popcorn out of it, and it's also a little bit hard to clean. Maybe you know, take a little vacuum cleaner sometime or, or something to help clean it out. But on the other hand, there the Cauldron Premium Popcorn Bucket, which is also 20 bucks, 
is a set for annual pass holders, and I did not see any of those there. The the Good Boogie, pretty much all popcorn stands had it for for purchase. The Cauldron, I think, was sold out by the time um, I was there at the beginning of October. And from what I can tell, the main draw is because the Cauldron uh, annual pass members can bring it back until October 31st and get a refill for only a dollar fifty. So that's a good deal. I also add that the, the cauldron, um, a lady got let me look at her cauldron that she had during the nighttime, and the top lights up, really neat looking, and it looks like it would hold a lot of popcorn inside. For my next guest, that don't really need any introduction, we have good old Gus. All right. I don't know if you've seen this before, you probably have, if you're into these kind of things. But uh, Gus here is for beignets, or the uh, Phineas Fritters, I believe, you can get it with. And what it does here is the back here, best grip from right about here, you can slide open. And, you know, pretty good sized cavity. Put stuff in, I wouldn't put a beignet in there, especially the honey ones. Don't make this any stickier than it needs to be. But on the back here, it says, Here lies good old Gus, hitchhiking because he missed the bus. R.I.P. I don't see that with the blindness. But on the bottom here, you have the Haunted Mansion 50th emblem. And a switch. So you turn that switch to on. And push the... Uh, Little secret rock here, which ain't too secret. And you can't see it here, but it lights up the front of them. Gives Gus kind of a eerie glow there. Right? Whoa, scary. And so, you have Gus. And who else could go with Gus but Ezra? Ezra Bean. How do you do? I'm Ezra Bean. And what he does is he is a sipper. Same thing, 50th anniversary on the bottom. Uh, On-off switch here. And same old thing, rock. Push that, lights up this light. Right? And on the top of his head, you have a little uh, nib there. And you pry that open, and you can drink out of his head. Fascinating, right? Well, to fill it up, you, uh, I believe you lift up the tombstone here back, and you can put some liquid in there. Now, when they give this to you, I believe, hopefully all the time, they will give you this and a cup of something on the side. Your, your beverage on the side. Mainly because I would not want to drink out of this myself. You know, that's just, uh, maybe that's just me, but, yeah. And, let's see, so, we have Ezra, we have Gus, so, who could be left? Uh, any other hitchhikers out there? Ah, Phineas! So, he has the emblem here on his suitcase, he's ready to go. You know, nice looking chap there, top hat. And, uh... You know, beautiful purple straps here to hold them on to you while you're out there. Because this fella here has the part on the back. Let's see. Rest in peace, Professor Phineas Plump. His travel plans have hit a bump. All right. So on the back here, this here opens up. And this part folds down. And you can stuff them full of popcorn or whatever. Which really, this won't hold much. So luckily, when they give you this... They get you a uh, carton of popcorn, which slides right in the back here. And, um, yeah, you can enjoy your popcorn. Keep this guy clean. And he, too, has a switch on the bottom. Turn that on. And, uh, you see here there's little notches on the side. So basically, you can arrange these guys, linking them together, like so for display and 
one thing about Professor Phineas there, get Gus on camera, is that we push the rock here, it'll light up. Push the rock over here on Ezra, lights up. And Phineas, let's see if we can get this on camera. Green, green, ghosts cannot do socialize. So, he plays a little bit of the grim, 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 green ghosts. Yeah. And uh, the other two don't have any sounds. He does. They all have the little spotlight underneath them. And let's see if we can capture something else here. All right, so there you can see basically the lights um, underneath them, kind of a little bit. And if I were to turn these lights off, believe it or not, which you might not believe, just like the other one, these guys glow in the dark. And, um, you know, it's pretty cool. I think Gus is the best because he has his long beard here and uh, the ball and chain and the fist, but anywhere you have this like lighter green color, all that glows. And of course the blue one, blue doesn't. And um, this is pretty neat. Now, what I wouldn't do is, you know, carry it around your neck by the strap in the park all like this. That's probably a little bit much. And the two on the sides might, you know, end up taking a dive and passing on again. But, um, yeah, this is a nice project. I'm glad they brought it back out because the thing kind of ran out pretty quick when they had it. It seemed like they came out right after the 50th anniversary festival and then poof, they were gone again. And now they're back. But you know what? Maybe by the time I post this video, they'll be gone again. Who knows? But nice little collectible item. Um, you know, some people do pay the 225 bucks I hear on eBay when in reality these I think were, you know, right around 60 bucks for all three. I know, I know some was like 18.99. I think he's 18.99. This one was 21. This was maybe 22. Something like that. But, um, yeah, not 225 bucks for sure. Are they really worth it? Yeah, they're neat. So, um, that pretty much uh, concludes this version of Show and Tell. Um, if you have any questions or comments or anything else you'd like me to kind of show and tell or, you know, odd jobs you want me to get back to working on, I'm still going to be working on the theater stuff soon, the home theater renovation thing. Uh, I just need to bang out a few details with the project. And I'll be back at that. And... Yeah, otherwise, odd job doer, uh, thanks for watching. And if you have any kind of a, you know, favorite popcorn holder or drink holder you want to talk about down below, go ahead. You know, I have other ones I could show. Just that I figured I'd do this one since it's kind of current, and it's what's in the season right now. So, once again, odd job doer, thanks for watching. Alright, so the Ezra Sipper uh, for eight ninety nine uh, at uh, in New Orleans. Um, you can find it, I think, at different places in there, but a real good hint was the, at this time, the Royal Street Veranda. That little walk-up window. You're able to get the Ezra Sipper there, as well as, not the popcorn bucket, but you can get the um, beignet bucket there also if you get the fritters the uh, Phineas Fritters there. The popcorn bucket is only available at the uh, popcorn vendor in New Orleans Square for uh, 2050. And um, here we have the uh, Professor Phineas's Plumps Cure-All Fritters at the Royal Street Veranda. And uh, you know they're, they're pretty tasty things. Uh, that And at first we're like, are they hot? The, the fritter itself is not hot. The sauce might be a little spicy. And um, up there you can see also they got the Pickwick's Ghost Punch. That is sugary. It, it, it's pretty good, pretty sweet. But man, one sip goes a long way on that thing. And um, the other thing you can go to is... Ta-da! Mystery solved. The Mint Julep Bar is where you can get the purple 
potion apple glow cubes for uh, $4.99, as well as, uh, let's see, the Mickey pumpkin spice beignets at this time. And um, let's see also we can get the, uh, what, the Finicus beignet holder? And which luckily they don't put them in there because they're a big mess, but the beignets are, are tasting good. And um, yeah, what else to say about them? Good stuff. Okay, so it's not the Phineas beignet holder, it's the Gus beignet holder. Um, so Ezra, Sipper, Phineas, Popcorn, Gus, beignet holder. And there's a nice picture of the Mickey Mouse Pumpkin Spice Beignet. Uh, the Glow Cube, it's also available there at the Mint Jewel Bar. And of course, Prisoner Gus, forever tied to that ball and chain. So, anyhow, um, this pretty much sums it all up finally. And um, if you enjoyed this, you know, like it, subscribe, and thanks for watching. Bye.